guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm anna from actually anna and welcome to my channel i'm so excited that you found this channel today i'm gonna talk about makeup hacks for different kind of skin types i know that some people have dry skin like me uh, some people have oily skin and for those type of skin types there are lots more obviously um different kind of products work better for one skin type and different kind of products work better for the other skin type what i'm gonna do today is i'm gonna go through the layers of the makeup how you build your look and i'm gonna give hacks tips and tricks uh, for every skin type basically so before i'm gonna go into this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel here um and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you get a new notification when a new video pops up and yeah like i said in the beginning welcome if you're new to my channel um i also have a blog it's linked down below and social media is also linked down below so if you want to go and follow me there there's loads more content that you can watch uh but for now let's go into this video so first we're gonna start with the base layer and uh, you can start with foundation but you can also start with primer i'm gonna talk about two primers today two different kind of primers because i'm gonna do a whole video about primers so don't don't worry i'm gonna explain it all in that one video but today i'm gonna talk about a silicon primer and a glowy primer so if you have uh, for example large pores around your t-zone uh, for example on your cheeks on your nose on your chin and in between your brows uh, then a silicon primer is a good uh, product to choose because what it basically does it's gonna cover your pores and when you apply your foundation on top of it it's got, not gonna sink into your pores and exaggerate, exaggerate them it's gonna fill in your pores make your skin look smooth and then your foundation will apply smooth as well what you want to do with these kind of uh, products is not spread it but press it into your skin so this could uh, product could be used by anyone um, oily skin dry skin anyone and then I have a glowing primer and I think most people with dry or dry to normal skin would like to use this because it just gives an extra bit of glow if you have dry skin like me your skin can look a bit dull sometimes and um, yeah it doesn't have to shine from underneath because you just don't have the oils on your face. So this is gonna replace it. And I'm wearing a glowy primer underneath my foundation at the moment. So uh, it's not like I'm a huge glitter ball basically, but I just have a bit of glow from within. That's what you wanna achieve with this kind of primers. Then also you have the mattifying primers and the hydrating primers, but I will go into detail all uh, in my special separate primer video. Then uh, concealer wise, I think um, as I'm making this video right now and I'm seeing all the products that I'm gonna talk about, most hacks are gonna be within the base layer. Um, so within the primer, foundation, concealer and powder. Um, the rest of the products will be kind of the same and will be interchangeable with skin types. Of course, I'm not talking about skin tolerance skin color i'm talking about skin type so whether you have an oily or a dry skin basically if you have quite a sensitive skin and you're prone acne prone you might have some spots that you would like to conceal and this concealer from Valeda has is part of their new uh, range against impurities and this concealer uh, conceals your not only your acne but it also helps to reduce it so it's a two-in-one product so I really want to um, recommend this I've tried it a couple of times and it really reduces your spots right away on to the foundation part of course it's 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 part of your own, own choice whether you want to use a foundation or a powder foundation I'm sorry liquid or powder foundation um, but usually the powder foundations are um, better for oily skin because uh, they get shiny through the day and the powder already mattifies it what you can also do is buy a mattifying um, liquid foundation and then powder on top of it if you have a very very oily skin because for dry skin if you apply the powder it's gonna 
sit on your skin and not really melt with your skin so it's gonna look really powdery and you actually see that you have makeup on your face so what I like to do is just have a hydrating um, liquid foundation or um, this one is with a satin finish which is, works also really well for, for my dry skin um, so that's where you want to go if you have a dry skin if you have normal skin you basically yeah, need to figure out which look you want to wear if you want to wear the mattifying look or if you want to um, wear the glowing look or just something in between I think the satin finish is always a bit in between so that's uh, about foundations what you can also do if you get a little bit shiny or oily through the day you can um, set it with a setting powder this one is from Sephora this is a correcting setting powder so with different kind of colors but you have setting powders in all shapes or forms and forms this one could also be used as a setting powder this is um, a powder foundation from pure but you can also use this a thin layer as a setting powder so generally I think um, if you have a little bit of oily skin you want to set it with a setting powder like I said if you have a very oily skin then use a powder foundation or a mattifying foundation with a mattifying primer underneath and then um, also set it with some powder so you can go really layer on layer on layer um, what your skin needs and you can interchange it or mix and match um, to find out what fits best for your skin. Then I want to talk about eyeshadow, which might sound really very weird, because how can your eyelids be part like of your skin type? Well, I have a dry skin, but I do get very oily eyelids. So whenever I apply eyeshadow, it's not gonna stay there and it's gonna crease within an hour for sure. So what I usually do is I apply a um, base layer on top of my lids before I'm applying any um, any eyeshadow, which is uh, an eyeshadow primer. I forgot the word, but there we go. <laughs> it's an eyeshadow primer. This one is from Urban Decay. This is the very, very famous primer potion but I've heard you also have a good from, from one from NARS which is amazing for oily eyelids so if you have oily eyelids definitely check out a eyeshadow primer if you have very dry skin I uh, can imagine that putting powder after powder after powder product is not gonna benefit your skin a lot um, so what I then would recommend is getting into the cream products for example, this is a product from the Beauty Archive and what they've done is they have different kind of colors in creams. So for example, this one uh, you could use as an eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow, or you can use as a bronzer. And they have different uh, kinds of pink colors, so you can use that as blushes and also a highlighter. So I think we've talked about cream highlighters in my highlighter and contour and highlighter video, but cream products you can also use on your cheeks as blusher or as bronzer. They generally, generally, generally look a lot more natural compared to powders. And if you have dry skin, because they really melt into your skin, they give, give a little bit of moisture and um, they don't sit on your skin so uh, they look a bit more natural so if you have dry skin i would really recommend uh, checking out some cream products so those were a lot of tips and tricks and a lot of hacks um, i hope it made sense to you and if you have any hacks or any tips and tricks then leave it in the comments down below because we can learn all from it i can also learn from it um, because i have dry skin but maybe you have oily skin and you have a very good tip uh, to keep your foundation in place let me know so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I make videos twice a week on Wednesday evening and Sunday morning so if you don't want to miss any videos then subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you get a new notification when a new video pops up and yeah I think with that said we are at the end of the video and I'm gonna say see you next time